Hi, I am Dr. Harish Prasad. I've done my MD in dermatology and fellowship in dermato surgery. I work as a consultant dermatologist at Vital Skin Clinic BTM Layout Bangalore. What you should not do after uh, laser hair reduction is you should avoid anything which will make your uh, body temperature more like you should avoid taking hot showers you should avoid doing uh, exercise you have to avoid uh, uh, sun bath you should avoid uh, sauna uh, these things uh, actually causes damage to the skin as well post laser your uh, skin becomes little sensitive so at least for uh, 12 to 48 hours you should avoid doing uh, these things and uh, the other things is like about your clothing it should not be very tight you should not wear jeans or nylons which can again uh, have friction on the skin and then it can cause uh, uh, like damage to the skin uh, you should not uh, do any parlor procedures uh, like uh, waxing, threading and all post laser. Uh, like there will be little bit of hair growth for that you have to raise off the hair because uh, if we do uh, waxing or threading it can uh, destroy the hair follicle which is required for next session and the results can uh, you know vary. Uh, you should uh, not do laser hair reduction when you have any infection on the site of procedure like bacterial infection like folliculitis or viral infection like herpes infection or if you have any active uh, skin disorders like uh, systemic lupus erythematosus, active vitiligo, active psoriasis all, in all these conditions you are not supposed to do uh, laser hair reduction and uh, do not get laser hair reduction done any of the uh, non-qualified uh, centers where you, there are chances of uh, your skin getting burned or getting side effects and then your confidence of getting laser hair reduction will reduce so when you choose somebody for laser hair reduction choose somebody who is qualified dermatologist